I B H A. Hi, I'm Janvi, and uh, we have Dr. Spencer Stryker with us. He's a professor of digital media in Northwest University, Qatar. My first question to you is: What inspired you to become a big historian? Well, I think probably the the thing that inspired me to do history ventures uh, is when I hear students in, a, in my career and in my life heard students say that they find history boring. And because I think that his, there's nothing more interesting than history, more inherently fascinating than history in terms of being full of drama, excitement, high stakes, things that are horrifying, things that are thrilling, that when you hear a student say history is boring, you realize that something's not right there and um, I venture to say that it's uh, the way that history is taught, the, the traditional formal way that history is taught somehow strips all, a, all the <laughs> fun out of history and it becomes, um, you know, lit long lists of dates, kings and queens and the Magna Carta and this and that and everybody just wants to fall asleep. Um, and so, yeah, so the, that's the original inspiration for the product is trying to put the, the excitement uh, back into history from the perspective of narrative design, character design, interaction design. Yeah, well, actually, when I was an undergrad at University of Texas, uh, once upon a time, I studied history. That was my first, uh, my first passion. And then, um, and then I moved into studying uh, I moved into the radio TV film program, which at in, in that time, that was the film, basically film production program. There was no digital media design at that time. In the course of my career, I've seen the technology uh, mature to basically do what I hope, what I really kind of originally wanted to do, which was to create kind of interactive, uh, animated kind of uh, history learning experience. And so that became possible because of the evolution of the technology. Yeah, the, the design of history adventures is uh, a few different um, sort of concepts. One is anchoring history through the perspective of characters. Uh, so that's one of the concepts there is this idea of narrative design, historical flash fiction, and kind of anchoring a perception of history through the perspective of a person living through it, giving some uh, kind of um, emotional attachment to a moment in history and, and a story and narrative attachment to a moment in history. And then another kind of conceit of the product is to <clears throat> look, the characters that we're choosing are not famous. It's not like we're choosing Alexander the Great or Cleopatra. Instead, these are going to be like normal people, like ordinary people living through extraordinary moments in history. Born in West Africa, kidnapped by slave traders and forcibly renamed William, William was one of millions of Africans transported across the Atlantic against their will and forced to labor in expanding European empires. Should William run away and ally with local Native American tribes or stay in Jamestown and survive some other way? trying to basically make a magical textbook, a fully interactive uh, textbook, so that it has characters that has looping animations, that we have interactive features, that we have the ability to zoom in uh, and, and analyze and magnify source documents that are annotated. Um, we have like sort of media rich interactive sort of quizzes we have a feature, so those are, so that's the whole suite of kind of multimedia features <clears throat> layered on top of it. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's all kind of happening on a mobile device on a, optimized for iPad. So that's really, that's what History Adventures is as a, as a product. I've come to observe a kind of shared culture when you, in this a global culture, when people can all reference the same games, the same movies, the same shows, the same, characters, the same comic book characters, everybody knows the same media landscape. If anything, that creates a, like a global community in a way. I B H A.